Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about the poem to S.M., a young African painter, on seeing his works, written by Phyllis Wheatley. Now, before I go into some analysis of this poem, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. Now, this poem by, by Phyllis Wheatley is, is a very interesting poem. Um... You know, it's very straightforward, um, just like, as the title um, tells us, that um, it's this young African-American um, who is a great painter, um, a great artist. And um, Phyllis Wheatley, upon seeing his works, is very impressed. Um, his uh, paintings, his art, uh, really helps you understand, um, or it conveys, or, or it draws upon emotions, and um, it develops heavenly landscapes. So this young African painter is very talented. And within this poem, Phyllis Wheatley is saying, um, oh my goodness, you're, you're just an amazing artist. Uh, you're an amazing painter. Your pictures are not just pictures. Your, your art is not just art. It uh, allows us to think about heaven and to think about um, the, the, the universe in a, in a different way, that it conveys emotions, that it expresses emotions that word, words can explain. You know, um, she tells him that um, he needs to um, focus on honorable things, to, to walk a straight path so that he can have um, internal uh, peace, so that he can have internal tranquility, and also to focus on um, heavenly things, godly things, because she believes that his paintings are not just fundamental and basic. She believes that his paintings reveal something that's very clear about the world to come. I mean, this poem, it's not really, you know, she's really not just saying something special, um, simple here. She's saying that this young African painter has an ability, a gift to express through his art um, deep emotions, emotions about the soul, emotions about the universe, uh, emotions about glory, and even um, going towards immort immortality, that his art displays a notion about immortality, or, or his art can live on forever by the messages that it conveys. Um, so this is very powerful. She's really praising him within this work. Um, she encourages him. She tells him, you know, listen, you have to keep going. You have to keep trying. You have to keep moving forward because your work here is revolutionary. Uh, it's wonderful. And and this poem, the tone of it, the mood of it is very inspiring and, and motivational um, because she's saying, man, you, you've done such a great job here. Don't give up. Search for the good things of this world. Search for the heavenly things. I mean, by, by the end of this poem, we're thinking about um, the celestial, the the ethereal, ethereal um, things that that you know that this artist can convey through his art. Um, we're thinking about landscapes, heavenly landscapes. We're thinking about you know she mentions the muses, so this type of inspiration that doesn't that's not you know earthly bound, but he gets his motivation, he gets his um, you know his gift from 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 heaven basically, and we know that Phyllis Wheatley is a Christian. Um, so when she's talking about heaven and she's talking about the celestial, when she's talking about trans, um, transcendence, you know, um, our transitioning from a human life to a heavenly life of God, uh, she's saying that his paintings can illustrate a message about the life to come that's very powerful and that's very revolutionary. And by the end of this poem, she leaves us with this, this idea about this painter that um, he should keep going, he should keep trying, and to, to, and to not let go of the art that he can create and what it can convey. Um, there's, this, there's this mixture of, of art and poetry here that Phyllis Sweetly uses the, the ability for art and poetry to work together to convey deep meanings and messages that we can't just convey through words or through books, but by by the emotions and feel because like you know a, a regular book you can read it it can be great uh, but poetry art um, the fine arts um, they can convey emotions or let us feel things that we can't feel through the pages of a book but when we can see things when you can hear things because like in poetry. Poetry has a lot to do with the sounds of words, the feeling of words, the 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 the, the way that words, um, the pitch, the tune, the tone of words, um, and paintings and, and art they 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 
poke at your emotions. They target your emotions, your feelings, your mood, and, and they make you feel things that, I mean, you can look at, at, at a piece of art and feel inspired, feel energy, feel motivation. And you can also look at a piece of art and feel um, disgusted. Uh, but this painter, this young African painter, um, he has potential for sweetly. I mean, just by the, you know, to, to a young African uh, painter upon seeing um, his work. So basically, Wheatley is saying here, this young black, this young black artist, uh, this young uh, black individual here, upon seeing his work, uh, upon seeing, the, the, you know, his work, she's inspired, she's motivated. Um, and, um, you know, she believes that um, he can go very far. Uh, by, um, you know, by, by seeking peace, seeking tranquility, seeking the godly, the glorious, the heavenly, uh, because his paintings are not earthly bound. Um, they, they can convey something much deeper about the celestial realities of our world. Um, so that's, that's the deep meaning in terms of deeper meaning and analysis here. That's where this poem draws us to is, is thinking about the, the eternal, um, you know, the, the, the emotions uh, and the celestial things that we cannot understand by physical means, by earthly means, but by, by, by trying to look, I guess we can even say, we can say in the spiritual world, in, in a world that we can't see with our eyes, but maybe through our emotions, through, through art, we can express or understand things that perhaps don't exist in our world, but exists in heaven. Um, because that's what Phyllis Sweetley is saying, is that his, his art allows her to get a glimpse of heaven. And, and that's very powerful language right there, to say that art allows you to experience heaven. And that's a revelation because if art can help us experience heaven or understand heaven, it's revolutionary because it's not only speaking to your eyes and your senses, it's speaking to your soul. And that's what Phyllis Wheatley is getting at here, that his art goes way beyond the, the, the natural senses, that his art allows us to experience things about the life to come because through his art, Phyllis Wheatley feels like she can understand something much deeper than what we can understand through our, you know, our five senses. Um, so this, this poem is very inspiring. It leaves us with, with the idea that this artist is just getting started because he's a young painter, a young African painter. Uh, he's just getting started. Phyllis Wheatley encourages him to do more, to seek the heavenly, to seek the, the godly, um, and to not give up on his work and to keep going because, you know, through his art, he's going to be immortal. Um, through his work, he's going to be immortal because his works are legendary. So that's my summary analysis of this poem. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.